Homeschool and charter schools have been talked about a lot in recent years. If tax dollars followed students into charter schools, revenue would be diverted from public schools. There is a real possibility that public schools would then be left with many of the most challenging students who require more resources to serve. In light of that possibility, how would you restore Iowa to its status as the number one state for public education of all students in the K through 12 system? And we'll start with you, Jeff. This is a really important question. I think there's a problem. The problem is you can see in the way the question is phrased as it seems that the private and public educators are somehow in competition as if their interests aren't aligned. So the solution is making sure everyone's working together towards the same goals, because everyone wants a fantastic education. And if we can really get education right, there's no reason why a generation from now we can't be living on a much better planet. Um, as far as the actual funding is concerned, yeah, we need to ask ourselves, why, why are parents wanting to take their kids out of public schools? Again, I'm here for the tough questions. It's, it's what are the public schools doing that make parents want to take their kids out? And again, there was a, a decision was made uh, recently in the Fairfield School District where it was made because bureaucrats said so, and 37 really great families took their kids out of school. And, you know, that's multiply that over the years as millions of dollars out of the school system because we're making decisions because bureaucrats said so. So, again, the more local control. Uh, but even if there was a voucher system, you know, you could even, even do a fraction of the money. I was talking to a homeschooler the other day. So, hey, if it's six thousand dollars per a student, you know, slice us off 10 percent, you know, at fifty dollars an hour, that's 12 music classes. Just help us out with something. Uh, there is a disparity between the amount of funding that goes to public educators and the private educators, but I think the solution is going to be getting everyone on the same team, building the bridges between both private and public, and making sure we're all working towards the same goal, and get this idea of competition out of our head. Phil? Uh, right now, there are about 520,000 uh, kids in Iowa that attend kindergarten through 12th grade. 94% of those attend public schools. That's about 492,000. About 30 kids, 30,000 kids attend either parochial schools, private schools, or are homeschooled. And most of the homeschooled kids are, do that through a public school uh, service. But uh, I think the question here is about the money, and I think that's called vouchers and if if we would okay uh, that amount of money like the sixty five hundred dollars per student to go with the student to a private school or a public school or a, excuse me a private school or a home school uh, th that would absolutely be devastating to rural schools and I, I mean that it would really really hurt rural schools if uh, vouchers are funded uh, I, I right now the state does give over $50 million per year to private schools, public schools, and homeschoolers in, in forms of transportation funding, funding for books, and tuition credits. So uh, I, I think uh, that our public schools, if anything, are being underfunded, and we certainly don't want to take money away from them. 